Hello folks, my name is Georgios Papadopoulos and welcome to this video on different types of spanning tree protocol or STP. Now this video is just one in a much longer series of tutorial videos on STP. So if that interests you, you should subscribe and check out the rest of the videos as well. As you might know, there are different types of STP that have been developed over the years. In this video, we are going to present and compare different types of STP. And that includes the original STP or common spanning tree CST, the per VLAN spanning tree, which is the PVST and PVST plus, the rapid spanning tree, which is the RSTP, then the rapid per VLAN spanning tree, which is the RPVST plus, and finally, MSTP, which is the multiple spanning tree protocol. Let's start with the standard STP or IEEE 802.1D. This is the original standard that provided a loop-free topology in an Ethernet network with redundant links. This original spanning tree algorithm was invented by Radia Perlman and in 1990 the IEEE published the first 802.1D standard based on Perlman's work. Also known as Common Spanning Tree or CST, it creates one spanning tree instance with one elected root bridge for the whole bridge network regardless of the number of VLANs. And because there is only one root bridge, traffic for all VLANs flows over the same path, which is the best path to the root bridge, which can lead to suboptimal traffic flows. Why? Because there can be uh, use cases in which the best path to reach a VLAN is different than the path obtained on electing the root bridge. Furthermore, the original STP can take 30 to 50 seconds to respond to a topology change. Thus, the main disadvantage of the original STP is the convergence time. As an old standard, the time was reasonable in early days of networking. Today, an Ethernet network cannot afford a delay of 50 seconds for a port to converge, meaning for a port to go from the blocking state to the forwarding state. The good news is that it requires less CPU and memory. Next, we have the PVST, which stands for Per VLAN uh, Spanning Tree. It is a Cisco enhancement of STP that creates a separate 802.1D spanning tree instance for each VLAN configured in the network. This means that for each VLAN has its own root bridge and its own calculations. The main advantage of per VLAN spanning tree approach is that it allows the spanning tree to be optimized for the traffic for each VLAN as it provides optimal path selection. Moreover, the bandwidth consumption is less than the original STP. However, CPU and memory requirements are high due to maintaining separate STP instances per VLAN, while the convergence time is per VLAN and it is slow, similar to the original STP. Finally, the main difference between PVST and PVST Plus is that the latter is supported across the IEEE 802.1Q trunks. Then in 2001, the Rapid Spanning Tree Protocol or RSTP was specified in IEEE 802.1W standard. It is an evolution of the original STP and it is backward compatible with it. RSTP provides significantly faster network convergence than the original STP. Indeed, while original STP can take 30 to 50 seconds to respond to a topology change, RSTP is able to respond to changes within a few seconds. However, like STP, it creates only a single instance of spanning tree for the entire Ethernet network, and therefore, does not address the previously mentioned suboptimal traffic flow issues of the original STP. Furthermore, the CPU and memory resources required in a rapid STP is higher than the original STP, but less than the PVST. 
Then there is a Rapid PVST Plus, which is a Cisco enhancement of Rapid STP that uses PVST Plus and provides a separate instance of 802.1W for every VLAN. This Cisco proprietary version addresses the convergence issue of PVST Plus and the suboptimal traffic flow issue of Rapid STP. However, the CPU and memory resources requirements are the highest of all STP standards. Finally, in 2002, the Multiple Spanning Tree Protocol or MSTP was specified in IEEE 802.1S standard to define an extension to Rapid STP to further develop the usefulness of VLANs. Under MSTP, a spanning tree instance can be mapped for individual VLANs or for groups of VLANs. The spanning tree algorithm used by MSTP is Rapid STP, which provides quick convergence and it supports up to 16 instances of RSTP, where each instance can contain one or multiple VLANs. Considering that each Rapid STP instance is independent of other instances, the benefits of this approach is that it provides multiple forwarding paths for data traffic, enables load balancing, while the CPU and memory requirements are less than for Rapid PVST Plus but more than for RSTP. The main disadvantage is that it might require more, more configuration and it might not be the uh, and it might not be that easy to implement. To conclude, here is a table that summarizes at the high level the pros and cons among different spanning, spanning tree protocols that were presented in this video. It is worth mentioning that all three IEEE standardized versions of the spanning tree protocol, meaning STP, Rapid STP, and Multiple STP, has been incorporated into IEEE 802.1Q standard that supports virtual local area networking or VLANs. And that's all, folks. If you have enjoyed this video, you should subscribe and check out the rest of the videos on Spanning Tree Protocol. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video on communications and networks protocols.